Alright you guys, here we are again, reading from a selection called Love Poems from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West. Um, so we are finishing up with uh, Rabir, uh, sorry, Rabia, and uh, let me just do a quick synopsis of who she is. Um, our, Rabia of Basra is without a doubt the most popular and influential of female Islamic saints and a central figure in the Sufi tradition. She was born nearly 500 years before Rumi, and although it is rarely said, she perhaps more than any other poet influenced his writings. Rabia grew up in part of ancient Mesopotamia that's now Iraq. She was the fourth daughter of impoverished parents and a story connected with her birth tells of the Prophet Muhammad appearing to her father in a dream to tell him that his daughter would be revered as a great saint. The sensuousness of Rabia's poetry may be a bit shocking to some, though it was probably more so in its original. Even conservative scholarly translations cannot get through its, at times, graphic eroticism. Many myths surround her life and poems, but one has been recently confirmed by one of the most respected contemporary spiritual teachers and may well be a source of this sensuality. When Rabia was very young, she became separated from her parents, perhaps they died, and while wandering homeless, she was literally stolen and sold into slavery. Because of her remarkable beauty, a famous brothel brought her for a large sum, and it, believed, it is believed she lived and was forced to work as one might in a brothel for many years. She wrote, what a, tri what a place for trials and transformation did my lover put me, but never once did he look upon me as if I were impure. Dear sisters, all we do in this world, whatever hap happens, is bringing us closer to God. Rabia may be a timely spiritual force, voice for women of this century, especially for any woman or man who has had to suffer the emotionally crippling degradation of unwanted touch. She was both physically and sexually abused from an early age, yet still became one of the greatest women saints and poets known to history. When she was about 50, she, would be 50, she was given her freedom, most likely bought for her by a rich patron. The remaining years of her life were devoted to meditation and prayer, and she would often see visitors seeking guidance about their lives. Many miracles are attributed to her, and apparently she was offered large sums of money for curing people. I like a comment attributed to her when refusing a bag of gold. Dear, if you leave that, flies will gather as if a horse just relieved himself, and I might slip into it while dancing. As this, once, as this great woman once wrote, show me where it hurts, God said, and every cell in my body burst into tears before his tender eyes. He had repaid me, though, for all my suffering in a way I never wanted. The sun is now in homage to my face because it knows I have seen God. But that was not his payment. The soul cannot describe his gift. I just spoke about the sun like that because I like beautiful words. And because it is true, creation is in homage to us. So let me read a couple more of her poems, and then we'll be moving on to another um, ancient voice. A lover who wants his lovers near. He is sweet that way, trying to coax the world to dance. Look how the wind holds the trees in its hands, helping them to sway. Look how the sky takes the fields and the oceans and our bodies in its arms and moves all beings towards his lips. God must be hungry for us. Why is he not also a lover who wants his lovers near? Beauty is my teacher, helping me to know he cares for me. Here's another poem called Troublemakers. Since no one really knows anything about God, those who think they do are just troublemakers. Last one, this choir. So amazing, this choir of socks, shoes, shirt, skirt, undergarments, earth, sky, suns, and moons. 
No wonder I too now sing all day. Beautiful, right? So again, it's Rabia, R-A-B-I-A, and she is of the Sufi tradition, and she was made a, a saint in the tradition of Islamic saints. Um, so be sure to look her up. Thanks so much for stopping by.